Welcome back everyone, Zeke Morgan here for another exciting game review and today we're looking at 2013's Shadow Warrior which is a first person shooter and in my opinion a stellar remake of the 1997 game of the same name. In Shadow Warrior players control Lo Wang, an American Asian assassin who needs to find three pieces of a legendary sword called the Nobitsu Kage. Whilst his name is a running penis joke, Lo Wang needs to battle through scores of demons in order to achieve victory, and the game's 17 chapters, or around 15 campaign um, sort of missions, do manage to impress. During the campaign, players amass a variety of weapons to help them defeat the forces of hell, from Wang's handy katana to SMGs, crossbows, and even a grenade launcher. Aiding Wang is also the upgrade system which focuses on chi, gun, and skill abilities, with all feeling new and exciting to purchase, especially when stringing together the more advanced moves. This makes you feel like a god. What also helps here is their ability to be activated by a double tap of the directional control or by using the PS4 touchpad. Even the acting is pretty impressive for a 2013 game, with the contrasting banter between Lo Wang and his demonic sidekick Hoji, and the somber backstory working quite well. Graphically, Shadow Warrior doesn't sort of blow you away with human enemies and in some regards Wang himself looking oddly haphazard and substandard. However, demonic designs do um, sort of fare slightly better, and the range of enemy types doesn't disappoint either. Shadow Warrior keeps the pace feeling fast throughout, and the lack of a block or parry ability, whilst initially disappointing, doesn't become much of an issue. Using the katana became so much fun, I refrained from using guns for some parts of the story, but compared to the sword, obviously, the other weapons, they come across a little weak in comparison, especially when you can take down some of the harder enemies with just your sword alone. However, it is rather nice seeing a well-placed strike being able to lop, lop off an enemy's arm, leg, or even their head. Level design also has a decent variety, with players fighting in Japanese fortresses to sewers, fiery demon dimensions to stormy ports, and more. All of these areas are designed to accommodate battles against dozens of enemies and are stuffed full of secrets that should encourage exploration rather than running and gunning. Obviously, I really enjoyed Shadow Warrior's long and fulfilling campaign and the good humour throughout and one-line quips, as I said, between Lo Wang and his demonic sidekick Hoji really didn't feel forced and did feel like you were in the action. Obviously the fast paced sword combat and indeed the fast paced fights that you can get up to with the demonic hordes does really help as well as the overall general uh, simplistic control scheme as I said. It's very easy in the middle of a fight to pull off combos or the more advanced attacks either by pressing on the PS4 touchpad or double pressing a directional button. Of course all the weapons are free to flick through once acquired as well so um, even if you do come across an enemy that you're not quite sure how to deal with you do have all the guns, weapons and abilities available at your fingertips there to use. I really enjoyed my time playing Shadow Warrior 2013 I think it does stand up rather nicely to this day and age. Of course it did go on to spawn a sequel in 2016 which is Shadow Warrior 2. The review of that shall be up soon as well for you. Of course if you've played Shadow Warrior or indeed Shadow Warrior 2 I would love to hear your comments in the comments section below and of course if you found this review helpful please don't hesitate to leave a like. Comment, share and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much for watching and as always, have a lovely day.